What's going on guys? We're at the Alabama Gold Camp this week. Doing a little running with the Gold Fox Almond Trummel. It's been working really good. You can see we done dug all that right there out. It was completely flat like this over here. We got all up in here. Our first clean out was really rich in gold. Then once I hit once I hit all this, which gold cannot penetrate it, uh, gold was not really rich no more. So I ended up working around it, finding some false bedrock. But it still had gold in it, but not as rich as the beginning. So I ended up still running two or three more times, doing two or three more cleanouts. It was still decent gold, but not as rich. So I decided to make a right turn and start working my way over this way. Trying to avoid all that silver clay and I got back into it pretty good. Done a clean out yesterday afternoon and I will show y'all what I got. Oh, uh, this is my cons I got for over the weekend. Not too bad. And some really good gold starting to come up. There's a lot more back down in here. It just got washed down, but you can tell some real decent gold. Well, we're going to be here for the whole week. Leave out Friday or Saturday. And got my one and a half pump pumping water. Just got it at idle. I got two tubs here just filling up. Got my 2,000 running up to it. 2,000 pump. A few, a couple things I had to do different. First of all, I put a piece of carpet on this to quieten it down. That was a, that was a big mistake on my part, guys. What had happened is the material would build up right here because of the carpet. And that, and that hole right here from where the trauma raises up, bigger material was getting down in there going to my cube. So until I can get home and sand this down and get it back smooth, I had to cut a piece of that carpet to cover that hole. You know? trial and error down here where well, I put a piece of gold hog mat I had to end up taking it out this lip comes off of the cube here it was uh, raising it up pretty good so I just end up taking it out I have tested my tellings and there's nothing I can't find nothing but you can see all the material that I've done run and probably in a day and a half pretty good bit pulling some big rocks out of it one thing, being over here at the Alabama Gold Camp, there is a lot of clay. I mean, real good clay, too, mixed with gravel, dirt, good. And this here come in handy. This is a clay buster that uh, you can order uh, when you buy the Almond Fox Trummer. And it'll bust up your clay for you. Got the grizzly bars. Now, one thing that I did, the water's real cold, so... I ain't been using this this much. I put it on here this morning just to mash up some clay, but man, this water's done got cold. So what I've been doing to help really break the clay up, and it does a wonderful job, you see them spray the bars? There's three spray bars up in there. Now, watch it, I turn it off. When I get all the material shoved into the barrel, reach up here and turn this off, look how much powerful that got. Man, it got real powerful. So basically, once you fill it up here and the water's so cold, I'll just get my big spoon. I'll just push it on through. I would not have to push it through if I did not have this almost level. It's just raised up just a hair because there's so much clay balls in this stuff. So once I get all the material pushed through the hole, I'll just reach over here, cut the water off. And that makes these spray bars two times as hard. I mean, you can see all the water just squirting off the back. That's how hard. And it just cleans them up wonderful. But we're going to see if we can try to get this pile here pretty well done. Might take a few days. Let me show you all what I'm talking about. Definitely about the spray bars once I get a shovel in there I'll just sit here just push this through once it goes through 
see how hard that is just that is just chewing it up inside there. Good thing about the trauma, you really ain't got to get your hands wet if you don't want to. I mean, this thing here is going to do all your cleaning for you. And you see the traditional high bankers, the homemade high bankers, or other other product of high bankers, right here where their hoppers at, ain't nothing but just water, just covering them when they put their material in. But I leave this turned off until I go get my next scoop, put it back in there. I give that plenty of time to really wash it hard, turn it back on. Hands down, one of the best pieces of machine I've ever owned. Now, if my pump does go out, I do have a backup plan. Probably wondering how am I going to hook this up an inch and a half to this. Well, I'll show you what I made. This is just a temporary fix. If, it, if my pump does go out, I need to redesign it a little bit different. But once I, I mean, it definitely works 100%, but I was not too happy with the water sprout on it. Here it is. Let me get the camera zoomed out. Basically, to hook up to here, I got to cut off. I can control how much water comes through and just hook up to here. Basically, everything works good, but it's this here. This part needs to be down below here. Need to have a Y on it, not a T. Need to have a Y so uh, water pressure can get to this really good. But it works. It will work if. Uh, my pump goes out. If y'all guys are wondering what kind of pump I use. Just an inch and a half. Brought it from Walmart. Brought it online. Wasn't but $150. And she put out around 9,700 gallons an hour. She just sat there and purrs like a kitten. I've had it now for two or three years. Never had one bit of trouble out of it. If you look over yonder, see, that is the rental high bankers. I think they got about eight. Pro-Line High Bankers, and you can rent them, uh, rent them for two hours, two hours at a time. They got their own personal piles up there. And these piles here, they are dug out of a pit. What he's doing is he's following a gold vein, and he's got one big pile here, and he's got another one right there. So... Well, there ain't nobody down here this morning. It's a Monday morning. Everything's good and quiet. That's my campsite. That's where I set up camp. Hope y'all guys are having a good Monday morning. Now, this has been a long time coming and working. And decided to take 10 days off and come over here and spend seven, eight days at the gold camp. I gotta, I gotta get my nuggets on here shortly. Cause there have been, I have found little small nuggets over here, just digging in these piles. Big, uh, I've seen cornflake. Well, we call them cornflake uh, pickers. They look like a piece of cornflake that you eat. Some big old flat ones. Y'all stay tuned. Once I end up getting back home, I will run all the gold. And we'll see what we end up getting at the end of the week. All right, we're back. Something else I've uh, noticed that does a lot better 
working all this clay besides turning this on and off to get more high pressure spray bars to help clean what I've done is I've turned it about halfway or a little more you know close ain't getting much water coming through here just enough to help with the big spoon to help wash it down a little bit but rocks are coming out real clean really clean no clay stuck to them Maybe I'll find a little bit more gold that way with it washing the rocks. I don't have to turn it on and off. I did a clean out. I ain't been running long at all. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Just for the little bit of time I've been running, you can tell guys ain't been running long. Everything still looks the same. I was just trying to work on this to uh, eliminate me cutting it on and off. I think I got it pat down good now. It washes real hard up in there. It's a nice place over here if y'all ain't never been over here before. I think there's 300 and something acres. It wraps all the way around. Got these community piles. Basically, if you bring a gas operating machine, high banker, trauma, anything like that, $20 a day, you can run all day long. Tell people's been over here digging real good. I have not ran over here. I don't know what the gold looks like. And somebody done a lot of running there. There's a lot of tellings. Some big old river rocks come out of this these piles. Still a lot of clay. There was a gold hog machine set up right here for the last couple of days. He said he'd done pretty good. He said about four, hour, four or five hours of good work, you have a good line of gold on the top of your pan. They show how to move some material. back shortly all right guys we back it is a Tuesday morning and I have set up this seems to be working really good I got 3100 gallons running through the hog map it's clearing it out pretty good. You can still see just a little bit of blinds, not much at all. Uh, they're doing real good. So basically, I turned this off to get the 2000 to spray real hard. And I got my 1100 coming in here. Working over through here, worked all of that. I go kind of Kind of got a little finicky over there. It just yesterday afternoon worked hard for two hours and found a big flake and some more, but not as rich. So we're going to work our way this way. Try to get this big pile down. See what we do with the old hog map. That seems to be working pretty good. Let me get y'all a shovel and show you.
basically washes it down itself in case you got some bigger rocks and stuff like that. Overflow coming out the back, mine but just a little bit. Nothing too big. Good up clean the rocks real good with all that clay all over. Well, like some science experiment going on over here. I got three things running off of it today. I had to bump up my motor just a little bit more to keep up because with the 2100 and the motor on idle, it was not keeping up with the pumps. Look down in there and got a big old rock, got a bunch of cord tied to it, keeping this down and got it bumped up just a hair more. So perfect. I hope we get back into the rich stuff today. Well, all right, y'all stay tuned. One more thing I like to add. See how I got this? Got this right here. Now, if you order one of these and you want more water flow, just let them know and they'll put you another pipe here and pipe over here so you can have a total of two or three jets to have a lot of water flow so you won't have to jerry rig it like I did but I'll be ordering me one soon more than likely so I won't have to do that all right stay tuned all right guys we are back Wednesday morning already muddying up the water We have changed piles. Done really good on the first clean out yesterday. The other two, eh, they were good. Not wonderful. So we ain't hit this pile yet. And today I've hooked it up with the gas powered water. Giving it a try. Seems to be running. Got a lot of powerful water. It's cleaning the hog mat out pretty good. Still how it's leaving a little bit of blondes in there. Yesterday, uh, my battery almost went dead because I was running uh, two water pumps and a trauma off of it. But it lasted a long time. Today, this is what we're going to be into. We was over there yesterday. And the first clean out over there was wonderful. I mean, I ended up getting four or five big flakes, a lot of small stuff. But then once I started getting on into the pile, uh, the big flakes just went away. A lot of little stuff. So come over here, see if we can maybe get back into some in big flakes or maybe even pickers. The thing about this piece here, it is not glued. This right here is not glued at all, so you can turn it wherever you want it to hit the box. I got it hitting over here on the side, so it spins it around. And most of it go right on through, except for them big old rocks. You might have to give them just, just a little nudge. We'll get a shovel full of material, show y'all how things are working.
And by the time you get back with your second shovel, it should be almost done. Except for them big rocks that get up in there. While you're looking at the video, it makes you seem like the barrel's warped. It's bent. But this right here, this plate, that's a half moon they put in there. And it makes the barrel look like it's bent. But what that does is it keeps your material in there a little bit longer. Gives a little bit more washing action. So I was just breaking this up into multiple videos, four or five videos. I'm just making one video of anything I'm changing during the week or anything. If it gets hung up like that a little bit, just give it a little nudge. Water's not quite as cold no more. Warmed up a little bit over here. Y'all stay tuned. At the end of the video, we're going to end up seeing what all kind of gold we got for the whole week. Well, guys, I forgot to mention. Look at there. That's what happens when you're, I guess you can call it a wing nut screw boat. Breaks off. Now I got it sitting up on rocks. I guess when I get home, I'm going to have to end up drilling that out. So I can uh, get some more to put in it. So it did not end my day, just improvised. And that right there was yesterday. I noticed it when I got it off the four wheeler that uh, I was, well, I, I thought I was missing it. And I seen that it was broke off in there. It just is pretty old. I've had it for a pretty good while now. We run a little bit of material since last time I talked to y'all. Not much. Just letting it clean itself out a little bit. We got, we got some very good clean tilling. Man, that thing does a wonderful job. I ain't got to stick my hands in there and scrub rocks. I ain't got to get a brush to scrub them. Nothing. Just put it in there and let it go through the trauma and let it do the job. All right, guys, thought I'd make another small video while I'm sitting here to add on. Man, I have moved some material. That big old hole. The only thing about coming over here is you've got to move some material to find at least some decent gold. You might come over here and get you a five-gallon bucket full. Sometimes you might not even find the first speck. Then all of a sudden, the five gallon bucket full can have a lot in it. It's just hit and miss in these piles. But so far, I done did three clean outs, and I like to do a lot of clean outs. You know, maybe one every hour and a half, one every two hours. I like to make sure I'm still on the gold. I don't want to be digging for nothing. But so far, they looking great, real good. So that's why I've been still here moving a lot. Still got a lot to go. Ain't got but one more day left and we're going to pack it up late tomorrow, Thursday afternoon and head out Friday morning and head back to the house. A lot of clay and that stuff. Tried raising the trommel up. I raised it up one notch. I got it on the second second stage. I mean, as you can tell, it's 
it's not completely level but it's not far off I raised it up to a third stage and I just spit out too many rocks that still had a lot of dirt on them it, well a lot of clay on them so if you're in an area that don't have no clay man you can raise that thing up six seven notches and let her rip and she will eat some material Got some more people running back here behind. Let's got the creek real muddy. So my water's coming out muddy. But that's all right. All right, we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, we're back. It's Thursday morning. It's gonna be the last day of running. We're gonna pack it on in and head on back. It has been a good week. The weather's been great. That's that pile that I was working on yesterday. Well, get zoomed in. Got it pretty far down. Now we're gonna try to work on this pile. See how much of it can we get. We done knocked, done knocked the top out of it. Got a little bit in the middle. Gonna we'll see if we can get it on down a level. The go was really good. I wish I was on this pile the whole week. Uh, and the other pile over there. It did fairly okay. There were some clean outs that were really good, but every clean out over here so far since yesterday has been wonderful. So, can't complain. Thinking about coming back down here with my old pop Sunday. He's been wanting to come, so get to the house, rest up for a couple days, me and him make a day trip. Good old foggy morning this morning. One thing about the uh, gold hog mat I've learned over the years is they always say you need a lot of high water pressure. Well, that might be true. I got the motor. I got it kind of regulated. I'm, I'm, I got a pretty good guess. It's about 31 to 3,200 uh, gallons per hour running through it. I got a 9.5 uh, angle on it, and it cleans itself out. It leaves just a just a good line of uh, black sand and a few blondes, but so far my tellings they ain't had nothing in them, and I'm catching wonderful gold. I got a little water coming out the back back there. I got a uh, I'm gonna rig up something, but uh, as far as I know, I don't think I'm losing no gold out the back. I'll show y'all where it drops out of the trommel out. I got a piece of minor moss at home. Thought about putting that up right there where it drops out at because I got this bolted in there with a nut on the bottom. So thought about putting a piece of minor moss up there just to help out. But you can see how good it cleans out. Now this up here is not completely clean. I can see a thin layer of black sand running all the way up in there. This right here is holding a little bit of material but it's steadily dancing. So, can't complain. The mat needs to be redone. It's so old, it's done, came unglued, and in a lot of places, I need to put this tape. This was uh, the first two mats that Gold Hog come out with, and I brought it as soon as they come out with it. I brought the UR in the scrubber, and I ain't, I ain't brought none of his new mats. I'm sure they work excellent, but this here is worth still working excellent with me. Just need a little bit of just a little bit of maintenance with it. Just do some more gluing and more tape. What I am going to do though is I'm going to get me another barrel. Another barrel for the trommel. I am probably going to go with the thinking maybe the half inch barrel. So because I could be losing little pickers I have no clue but I would like for that small stuff to go down to the sluice
Everything's working like a dream. If you ain't got one of these and you're thinking about getting one, you would not be disappointed. I would take, I mean, <laughs> this thing does wonderful on cleaning rocks. I ain't got to clean them no more. So that means by me not having to clean rocks and get the clay and dirt out of the cracks, that's more material I can move. All right, we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, we're back. Made it back home on a, on a Thursday night, about 6 o'clock. Had that storms coming in from a hurricane, and we didn't want to catch, get caught in all the band of rain Friday, so come on in Thursday. Did not get to mine any Friday. But we finally finished up. I got something new coming for the trauma. I ordered a new barrel. Uh, this is a 3 16 for the cube. I ordered a 3 8 So then I'm going to start taking a few pieces apart, just looking at everything. But all the gold we found, it was pretty good. Now we did not mind. I mean, I did not mind all day long. I mean, this, this thing's a beast. There, I mean, there's no way you can do it in it's going to do you in before it does in i ran it hard hard as i could and that just it just whooped my tail i mean i pushed much as material as i could through the trommel loaded the hopper completely full and the rocks that come out the back was super clean washed them great i am very pleased with it um I'm going to end up getting a sluice box that comes with the trommel. I got a new little machine coming in from Gold Fox. I got the Mini Monster. So uh, I'm hoping it'll be in in about a week or two. And we're going to take this one back to the Gold Camp. And I'm going to shoot a video of the Mini Monster. Show you all how it works. And uh, from the video I've seen, looks like it's going to be awesome. But back to the Gold not bad, not bad at all. Got some decent good pieces in there. Uh, ain't bad. Nice looking gold. Got some big flakes. Uh, one of them's a small picker in there. But overall, can't complain. Cannot complain at all. Had a lot of fun over there. If y'all ain't never visited Alabama Gold Camp, y'all really need to go check her out. He's a nice place. I think they got close to 300 acres, maybe a little less. Nothing but beautiful land way back in the country. Uh, you can you can set up your tent anywhere you want and go to mining, dredging, high banking, sluicing, painting. But all right, guys, y'all stay tuned. I got another video coming. Uh, I'm going to shoot a video of how to put the new barrel in. So if any of y'all own one of these and got questions how you change the barrel out, I'm going to have a video of it. And we're going to have the video of the new Mini Monster coming. Y'all take care.